Continuing on with this problem, we're gonna work with our last three equations. And my part D here, y equals 4x, I'm missing part of my mx plus b form. So what I need to do is to fill in the placeholder. And when there's nothing there, if it's the actual term that's missing, I can replace it with a zero. So now I can write that in function notation f of x equals 4x plus 0. So we're inserting the placeholders, the 0 here, the negative 1 that we did in part b, so that we can clearly identify the components in mx plus b form. So now we can identify our slope, that's the coefficient of x, that's going to be 4. A positive slope indicates the behavior of our function, and that is increasing. To identify the vertical intercept, that is the b value. So 0 is the b value. That's the b value there. Goes along with an input value of 0, as we had in all of our other examples above. Looking at part e, another kind of special example here, special case, I don't have an x. So I'm going to replace the x term was 0x minus 6. That's going to help me identify the pieces in mx plus b form. Then I'm going to write my formal function notation. So 0x minus 6. To identify my slope, I need the coefficient of x, which in this case is 0. That's OK. We don't have to have a number a number other than 0, we can have 0 for slope. Because our slope is 0, though, we have neither increasing nor decreasing. We have what's called a constant function. This graph would be a horizontal line. To identify the vertical intercept, we want the b value. And remember to take that negative along for the ride because the b value is negative 6. If my input is 0 into this function, my output is negative 6, and that corresponds to the vertical intercept. For the last one, y equals x, I'm going to need to put in a couple of placeholders here. 1 times x, there's my mx, plus I have no b value listed, so that means it's 0. So I have f of x equals 1x plus 0. That's my formal function notation. My slope is the coefficient of x, which is 1 in this case. Because my slope is positive, I have the behavior that my function will be increasing. And then to find the vertical intercept, I'm going to identify the b value which is 0. So once again, it's the second coordinate that is the b value, but my vertical intercept is 0, 0, just like we saw up here in part d. So when you're doing these problems and it looks like there's pieces missing, go back to your mx plus b form and make sure that you fill in placeholders for all of the different pieces.